Okay guys, basically you've read the title to my Jean-Claude Van Damme DVD collection. Now, these first three top rows are all his films he made in the 90s. Brilliant films. And this bottom row here is the films he's made in the last like five to ten years, basically. I know I'm missing a couple, but that's due to, there was one called Dragon Eyes that came out a few months ago, and... Even though he was on the front case as the main character, he was in it for like 10 minutes, so that was pointless, sold that. And another one he made about 10 years ago called Wake of Death, uh, that was just pretty much pointless, uh, that's the end of that. Uh, I'd say his older films are better, things like Bloodsport, uh, that was one of his earliest movies and his best movies because it, it had all martial arts in and that. Um, and you know, bloody, it was made on such a tiny budget as well, so that was brilliant, that was. Uh, you've got one of my favourites, Double Impact. Not only has it got martial arts and gun scenes, it's got it's a brilliant storyline as well. And there's two of him, because he plays twins. So, good times, good times. Uh, the Quest, probably his worst early movie. Because it's basically a remake of Bloodsport. It's just a, a tournament that he goes into. And, yeah, basically wins it. Because why wouldn't he win? Street Fighter follows the video game pretty much. Uh, it has a lot of bad reviews, I read. But, brilliant film. I thought, brilliant film. Do you like the game? Do you like the films? Uh, but, yeah, this last row here, all his newest films... Not as good as his early films because I mean, I'll tell you for what, there's not a lot of martial arts in it. I mean, look at this one there's a gun there, there's a gun in there, guns in that one, he's holding the gun in that one, and uh, that one, and uh, that one. Now, Six Bullets is the most recent one that's come out in the UK, so I bought that the other week, and it's pretty darn good actually because. It's got Joe Flanagan in, who's in Stargate Atlantis, brilliant actor. Basically, Van Damme is an ex-mercenary, helps Joe Flanagan um, find his daughter that's, gone, that's been kidnapped and put in the sex trafficking industry, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, he plays all the kinds, same kind of roles in all these newer films, like uh, Until Death... He's a cop, second in command, he's in the military, universal soldier, regeneration, military, assassination games, assassin, hard corpse, bodyguard, six bullets, ex-mercenary, shepherd, he's a border patrol guy. Uh, so yeah, not a lot of martial arts going on in his newer films, uh, but there you go. Now this one, JCVD, there was a lot of hype about that when that came out about five, six years ago. Um, what to say about that? Well, I've watched it in about six years I've had it. I've watched it probably twice. It says on the top there, Van Damme's best film, 15 years. Uh, no, probably one of his worst films, 15 years. There's not really any martial arts. There's a lot of subtitles. Uh, I just, no, no. I've just kept it because it's part of my collection. A good series he's done, Universal Soldier. First one, brilliant. He ain't going to beat the first one. Add Dolph Lundgren in as well, so awesome source. Universal Soldier the Return was the second one. Uh, add Bill Goldberg in as well, which is cool because I'm a fan of Goldberg. Um, that's a brilliant film as well. A lot of martial arts, gunfights, awesome source. Uh, and then his latest one, Universal Soldier the Return, uh, Universal Soldier Regeneration. Um, again, I've watched that probably twice as well because he come he he's hardly in it at all. Um, at the end he's in it for like quarter of an hour, ten minutes, quarter of an hour. Apart from that, he's hardly in it at all. So that's just shocking. But in a few days' time, it'll be what fourth February, twenty thirteen. There's a new Universal Soldier coming out, and it's got Dolph Lundgren in that also, so that will be awesome. Can't wait for that. It, apparently they play bad guys leading the team of mercenaries or something, but 
it sounds awesome. Check a trailer out on YouTube if you can find one. But yeah, No Retreat, No Surrender. He plays a bad guy. So obviously not one of my favourite films because he's not in it that much. It's always a good guy. Uh, nowhere to Run. Good film. Brilliant film. And that's the end of that. Kickboxer, one of his early better films as well. Uh, got a lot of martial arts in. Awesome. Uh, a Wall. Brilliant. Absent without leave. Basically, here's his brother's been killed. Runs off from the army to try support in try earn money by uh, fighting to uh, support his brother's wife and child, which it is an awesome film. One of his early ones again. Uh, Cyborg probably one of my favourites. There's a fair bit of martial arts in that as well. Um, Plus, I'm a huge sci-fi fan, so there you go. That is just awesome. Hard Target, if you haven't seen it, well, watch it. It's on telly quite a lot. Uh, he's got long hair. Doesn't look great, so there you go. Uh, yeah, so... I, out of his new ones, I definitely recommend Six Bullets. Um, Second in Command's good film. I mean, he commands a, a, a military unit in... Um, in a foreign base to protect, like, uh, uh, some high guy from the city, uh, like a rebel army kind of thing. Uh, he's got a hold of the rebel forces and that, so it's pretty decent. Um, yeah, yeah. Sudden Death, brilliant film, I recommend that. Maximum Risk, not a huge fan, but it's good. It's better than these newer ones. Desert Heat. Awesome film, good storyline, uh, absolutely smoking hot chicks, but there you go. Which I could say the same for in, well, Street Fighter's got Kylie Minogue in, awesome source, Double Impact, awesome blonde in that. Uh, yes, basically I'm going to keep going with my collection. I will be... Uh, I would buy Dragon Eyes and Wake of Death back just to finish my collection, but it's seriously not worth the money because they're not even worth watching, so do not buy them. Uh, or download them if you can. But, yeah, I've got a three-pack up here. That's In How, Replicant, and The Order. Um, best one out of those is probably Replicant, where he gets, obviously, replicated. So, he gets cloned. And, uh, well, watch it, see. But yeah, good times, people. Good times.